Hi everyone, it's Josh here from Firmax Australia. Today demonstrating our new FVQ 6020 APP kit. This is a totally redesigned residential video intercom system. Actually, the GUI itself was designed here in Australia uh, with a new door station and new monitor that's Wi-Fi connected to your internet to allow app support. Um, the box itself has two sides to it. Um, we use the same box for the standard FVQ6020 uh, kit, which is the video intercom without uh, app support, as with the kit that comes with the Wi-Fi monitor. And the way you can tell whether it is a Wi-Fi kit or a non-Wi-Fi kit is if you look at the side of the box, um, you'll see the model number here, which is FVQ6020 APP, or alternatively, on the side of the box itself, you'll have a dot indicating the devices you are getting. In this case, the door station, the power supply, and a Wi-Fi monitor. On the other side of the box, we've got uh, a wiring schematic, which shows cable limitations as per the limitation table here. Uh, the most common seems to be uh, Cat5, which uh, stipulates that the distance, the maximum distance, the maximum recommended distance from the door station to the power supply is 40 meters and from the power supply to the monitor is 80 meters. Um, another enhancement of this door station over the previous model is we can actually do two lock releases directly from the door station itself, which is great if you have a front gate and possibly a garage entrance, or you might have a front gate and uh, a secondary en entrance off to the side. It can all be powered or activated from the same door station. So let's um, open the box and see what you get inside. Okay, so this is the box itself, unpacked. Um, what you can see is here we get the uh, power supply, the keypad, and the monitor. And I'll just take out all the devices and set them here on the table. Apart from those three boxes, you also get a, uh, a warranty card and the installer's manual that comes within the box itself. And if we put the box to the side, uh, we'll open up the uh, power supply first, the 6017 PC6. Inside the box, you get a little plastic bag with uh, the green plugs, the green plug and the screw terminals. Um, we'll set that off to the side. Oops. Uh, the power supply is bubble wrapped. So if we open that up, so this is the power supply unit for the system. Um, comes with a DIN rail mounted if need be. And this one power supply is capable of supporting four door stations or four and four internal monitors. Um, the green plug is connected down the bottom here. Um, you've got bus IM and bus DS. Bus IM is for the internal monitors and bus DS is for the door stations. The system being a two wire system. If we open up the door station next, Inside the box of the door station, you get another bag with uh, the green plugs, um, some screws and white plugs, and uh, a tool to um, take off the cover from the door station itself. Nothing else in there. Okay, nicely bubble wrapped. If we open up the door station, here it is. Very heavy. Uh, mechanical buttons, I think it looks great to be honest. Um, and then there's the re release screw at the bottom of the door station. Uh, IP rated, suitable to be located outside. Uh, we'll just set that to the side. And then finally the monitor box. If we open up the monitor, inside the monitor box again you get green terminal plugs and screws and then here is a 7 inch flat screen monitor uh, very slim fit 
Um, looks great as well. Very elegant, very high end, um, but at an amazing price. If we uh, open this up, and we set that to the side. So here are the contents of the box. We've got our power supply with our plug directly uh, to be connected into a power point. Green plug there, we've got our door station and our monitors, okay? And now we're gonna wire everything up and get it up and running. So first thing we'll do is remove the green plug and set it aside and take these two green plugs out here for the door station and our tool and the green plugs for the monitor itself. Okay, so as I mentioned before, um, the system is a two-wire non-polarity system, doesn't matter which way you wire it up. And on the power supply, we've got bus IM for internal monitor and bus DS for the door station. So if we get our cable, and we'll terminate our cable. Prepare for the monitor. And a pair for the door station. And then we can connect the green plug onto the power supply. The next would be to terminate the door station. So the door station comes with a screw at the bottom, which we use the, uh, the tool for. releases the back plate and you can see there's like this uh, plastic uh, protective color cover which we can remove and removing that exposes the terminals and here you've got a label which indicates uh, what each uh, pin represents from uh, right to left is the uh, the bus to y bus then we've got lock one, which actually gives you power up to 250 milliamps, uh, 12 volts. Exit button, then we've got two, which are spare. And finally, a uh, dry relay output that can either be set via this jumper here to normally open or normally close. By default, it is on normally open. So if we get our first green plug, um, remember we're connecting to the DS door station. and connect it to the furthest two right pins. So what's the other cable you pull for the second door station? Uh, actually, we probably want to feed that through both the plastic housing and the backing box. It's a little bit different when you're not actually installing it. On the wall. So let's penetrate through here. Okay, and we terminate that on the furthest right two pins for the bus connection. Um, we're not actually going to use a lock release in this example here, so we'll just connect the green plug at that point, and then we can uh, feed the plastic housing back on and 
click it back in. There we go. Nice seal. Finally connect the back plate back up again. So there is our door station connected. And lastly we have to connect up the monitor. This is the uh, bracket for the monitor, which you would install on the wall and slide this monitor back on. Okay. In this instance we'll just leave it connected as is. And then the terminations, we've got bus, uh, we're not using these terminals here. We've got common normally open and a switch terminal, but uh, the one we'll be using will be the bus terminal here, which will be uh, the top two. So we get our other figure eight. And we connect the top two terminals. Again, we don't, we're not too concerned which way the figure eight is connected because it is non-polarity, our two-wire system. So it could be connected anyway. And we uh, turn that around as such. So here we go, we've got our power supply a figure eight going to our door station and then another figure eight from our power supply to our monitor and now with everything connected we can power it up for the first time Oops. And because this is a one-to-one -one system, we actually don't need to program anything to get it up and running and operational. We can see power is on the door station, and uh, by this indicator light, there is a power on the monitor. Um, we can click the monitor, and we can see that the time is not set. Um, we've got indicators uh, auto on, which calls back the door station itself. Intercom is for intercommunication between uh, multiple monitors, if you have multiple monitors in your house. Playback is to playback um, uh, picture memory or videos if you have an SD card inserted into the monitor. Wi-Fi is to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, for app control. And on the second screen we've got ringtones, do not disturb, the date and time, contacts, memory functionality and settings, and finally an FAQ uh, the FAQ being very helpful because it goes through some key um, settings and um, help guides uh, for the actual intercom itself. So let's uh, set the date and time, which is typically the first thing you would want to do. 2020, uh, we're in June. Uh, the date is the 6th, uh, time, if I get the phone, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I guess we can go 15, uh, 15.01, okay, uh, date file mat you can choose between year, month, day or day, month, year, we'll set that. Okay, no, it's actually the 10th today. There you go. Okay, our date and time is set. Um, we'll test uh, the intercom as itself, and to do that, we just press the call button on the door station. There we go, we get the ring, we can answer, and we get a bit of feedback just because of the distance from the door station to the monitor itself. Um, and we've got lock one and lock two. Okay, lock one and lock two. Uh, we can take a picture of the particular person at the door and then we can hang up. You have to understand that 
the proximity of the door station to the monitor, that's why we're getting a feedback through the system itself. Um, if we want to review the pictures taken, we can see the date and timestamp. Uh, we can click on it and scroll through uh, the picture itself. Okay. Um, the other feature I'm going to show you, uh, which everyone's very interested in, is setting up the app control. Um, so in this instance, uh, we've got our Wi-Fi monitor here. This was a Wi-Fi kit. Um, the first thing you need to do is uh, configure the Wi-Fi. Okay, our Wi-Fi is on. We've got our Wi-Fi signal, and we would uh, download the app from the App Store. Okay, so let's do that now. The app is Firm Vision Wi-Fi which we're going to install. Okay, so there's the app uh, downloaded and we'll open it for the first time. When the app opens for the first time you'll see a plus button uh, which uh, tells you to add a device. You've also got many options down the bottom called devices, events and a more screen which goes to the album, so a help file and the about. But if we go back to devices and we click um, we've, got, we've got options here to scan a QR code, uh, manually input a device or land search. We're going to scan the QR code and click next allow. The QR code is on the back of the uh, monitor. So then it uh, comes up with uh, a description saying enter the Wi-Fi settings and confirm that it shows the access point uh, symbol, which it does, and we click successfully reset. Now it's going to ask which Wi-Fi network to connect to. I'm going to connect to the tech room and we're going to input the Wi-Fi password. Once we're finished, we click Next. Now what it's going to do is it's going to send the Wi-Fi credentials to the monitor, which it appears to have been sent. So now it's, uh, the Wi-Fi monitor is attempting to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi router. And you can see the app is waiting for the device to turn online. You can see the SSID for the Wi-Fi router is uh, shown up. We have to remember that the Wi-Fi connection is via 2.4 gigahertz only. So it only works over the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. It doesn't work over 5 gigahertz. So that monitor is now connected. Uh, we get the option for device name and the time zone, which in this case is correct, Australian Eastern Standard Time. We go confirm. And the device is now showing up on our app. Uh, to test that, we can click on the screen, which enables um, the video. And the first time we connect back to the device, it will ask us to please change the default password. The new password is recommended to be between 4 and 16 numbers. We're just going to set it as 1234 in this example. We hit confirm. Uh, 
So there you go. I've got video and audio communication. To the door station. If we want to do door release, we uh, can type the device password and press unlock. Or alternatively, we can set up one touch uh, pin unlock, which is set up here to on. One, two, three, four. Confirm. So now when we hit the lock release, it will unlock the door automatically. So again, the app is configured. We can um, close the app and we can test uh, the Wi-Fi calling. Calling the monitor, the app wakes up, we answer it, we get audio and video communication, hello, 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 and when we want to do door release, for lock one, door release for lock two, and when we're finished, we press the red button to hang up. We can also call back the door station. If we just click on the uh, picture itself. There we go, we've got video communication. Click the button to get audio communication. And do door release. Okay. If we want, we can uh, also turn the app on its side. Um, other features are speaker, um, we can take a, a picture if need be, we can record video to the device. Um, those are probably the main features that you would use. Um, another feature of the app is you can actually have multiple devices um, connected and viewable on the same app. So we've just connected our first intercom system, but we can always press plus and add another one onto the app itself if you want to manage multiple um, sites all via the one app. Uh, here are the events. You can see um, the ring call in the event itself. Um, that's about it, really. So I'll just show you again. I'll Call from the door station. Calls on the app, I answer it. I get video communication and audio. Door release. And I can hang up. Thank you everyone for uh, op unboxing the uh, Firmax FVQ 6020 APP kit. This is Josh from Firmax Australia. Bye for now.